Today, we're at Fluent HQ and NYC to talk to Matt Conlin, founder and chief customer officer at Fluent. Hey, Matt, how's it going today? Hey, Ashley, how are you? I am doing great. Super excited to talk to you about the rising trend of commerce media. So first off, what is hot in commerce media right now? From our perspective, it's the emergence of the Everything Media Network. That sounds exciting. What is it all about? I think there's this awakening of brands that have a huge uh, audience base on their websites, with their apps. They also have an abundance of first-party insights around how consumers are behaving. They're pairing those two elements together to launch their own commerce media businesses in really exciting times. Amazing. And what are some examples of companies that have seen success so far? I think the first mover in the space is really Amazon. And then you saw the likes of Walmart, Target, now Kroger, Instacart build up massive retail media businesses. And in more recent years, we've seen the likes of JP Morgan uh, announcing the launch of their financial media network. We've seen uh, the likes of Marriott and United launch their own travel media networks. But we're seeing a number of new industries come online, uh, step into the fray and launch their own commerce media business. So it sounds like a really big opportunity. How big is the market? Good thing you asked. I was actually just looking at the data. It's really compelling. Uh, According to McKinsey, companies that participate in the commerce media ecosystem can unlock $1.3 trillion of enterprise value over the next couple of years. And from a revenue and capture of the digital spend perspective, the industry is expected to reach over $100 billion by 2027 within retail alone. That doesn't include all the exciting advancements happening within financial services, travel, delivery, and all the other new places that commerce media will build. What does it actually look like in practice for non-retail businesses? Yeah, so the opportunity is pretty straightforward. It's these large businesses are leveraging their first-party data in order to target consumers more thoughtfully across websites and apps. And then from there, there's an opportunity to take those same audience segments and apply them to connected channels, like connected TV, social, or other programmatic channels. Awesome. And how are the advertisers feeling about it? From what we're hearing, they're loving it. And I think the real value in this this new ecosystem is uh, ultimately comes down to the better targeting, new inventory, ultimately results in better performance. Amazing. And how are these non-retail businesses getting into commerce media, keeping ads relevant for consumers? I think the first step was let's focus on endemic ads, right? And what we're seeing more recently is this emergence of Um, non-endemic ads, right? Different ways to add value to the shopping experience, especially relevant in the checkout moment. So how do you enrich that checkout experience? So after someone's completed a transaction, you're providing them with some sort of value add and you're making that checkout experience that much more special for the user. So late for a meeting, let's let's head out. Okay, cool. So question for you. Obviously, there's a lot of hype around commerce media right now. Yes, there sure is. Would you say that this is a passing trend or is it here to stay? Great question. It's here to stay. (laughs) 